You are in a pit of rants. This one's from Marcus Tullius Cicero, who says, Rant request. Existential isolation and the appeal of personality categorization. Definition of existential isolation. The feeling of being alone in identity and thought that you are completely incomprehensible to those around you. You having a sense of total detachment to culture and humanity as a whole. In the most extreme cases, you do not have any social identity. People stop being people to you and become more of a separate kind of being, not quite human and not quite no animal. Your recent personality scale videos have got me thinking, why have humans always desired to put ourselves into some sort of personality type set from astrology to the modern MBTI personality types? Humans have always desired to categorize themselves in this way, and I believe it is to try and stave off the sense of existential isolation that you see in a lot of media. Examples, Watsumote and Death Note. Literary examples, notes from the underground and Catcher in the Rye. I'm curious on what you have to say about this. Well, I have obviously experienced this kind of existential isolation uh, for a lot of my life. Um, I consider it to be the result of having just never had any kind of community that I belonged to growing up because I moved constantly because I also had uh, parents with fairly bohemian values as compared to my surroundings and um, and I myself had those values as well and uh, when society attempted to challenge those values I merely doubled down on them so uh, you know in that sense coming to the internet was a way to try to seek other people who were more similar to me and even online I could not find those kinds of people until I literally became uh, famous enough that I was signal boosted to a, enough people worldwide that I could find ones who are like relatively similar in mindset to myself. So like, you know, I think that the, the reason for us, you know, trying to make these categories is exactly as you say, we want to put ourselves into a group. We want to figure out who do we relate to out there. And for me, uh, that's almost the entire purpose of my internet career is just to bounce myself off of the rest of the world and have them kind of explain to me what's going on with me. Like, why do I feel uh, so alienated? Like, if there is a category that I belong to, what is it? Can you tell me? You know, and through my interaction with the internet, I think, um, if anything, making the neurotyping chart was a way of, like, the final slap back in, in some sense of, like, me positing a chart in which it seems as though I understand everybody else very well and where to place them and people are usually pretty satisfied with where I place them once we've talked about it you know people can find a satisfying placement for themselves but it was really tough for me to find a satisfying placement for myself because whereas I had initially just put myself in analyst and called it a day um, and even named the category after basically how I see my channel in terms of like the way my writing sounds um, that is not my natural writing style. It's not my natural state of mind. It doesn't reflect the way I actually think. It's it's a translation, a, a an overreaching translation attempt to make attempting to make sure that people understand what I'm trying to say as lexically as possible, not having realized that there were people who would understand it better without doing that, without with actually going even more metaphorical and even more impressionistic. So, um you know, and being more true to myself in the process. So I sort of had to reallocate how I consider my identity to better reflect, like, what I consider to be the honest impression that I have of myself um, in order to make myself better understood by more impressionistic thinkers who I think are the ones who, who get more confused by uh, by my viewpoints because of the the odd dichotomy that they see in, like, how can you... How can you be someone who relates to these emotions and yet has these logical justifications for them, if that makes any sense? Um, well, hopefully that answered that question.